of my life as far as music is concerned was one night the Shire Secretary of Shire Swanhill took me down to the Richmond Football Club in Melbourne and to a place called the Coterie, full of millionaires, please plenty of people, plenty of money and that's where they raise all their funds. And it was pretty dreary to me and after having a few drinks I said well Long Tack, which was his pet name, I said let's liven this place up and I went for a walk and I come back. And when I came back, I had this little case with me. And he said, oh, God, no. I said, oh, yes. I said, we're live in this place up. And I just did that and chipped it all out. And everybody was looking, and I said, well, you know, any of you blokes ever try a mouth organ sandwich? And I don't think they knew what I meant for a second. But uh, anyway, they got the drill as I went along. I picked up the mouth organ and got it the right way round and picked up the old squeeze box that I started. gentlemen and so forth they were all up jigging about and waltzing and as we left that club the words were bring him back bring him back bring him back and then I had the opportunity and the pleasure of playing for Kevin Sheedy. Ted what this Valita waltz where exactly did you learn it and from who? Uh, that, that came from John Bowden and John Cummins from Barrymore oh. in, the, in the early 30s that's right Right. Uh, it was Jack coming to special the letter was. Right. Could you play that for us then, mate? We'll try.
to play a tune called My Polly. It was taught to us by Lionel Collison, an old member, and we now named it after him, Lionel Swalls. Harry, uh, would you play us a couple of old waltz tunes, please? All right, Peter. <coughs> Pretty white lilies and passing shadows. Good. <laughs> some of uh, McGlashan's uh, old Vasa Vienna's on the old mezzan. All right, Peter.
I'll get you to um, play one of McGlashan's set tunes, uh, maybe the third figure of the first set, and uh, you could explain who McGlashan was. Uh, McGlashan was a, an old accordion player around here in the, I remember in the 1920s for a start, and uh, these two following tunes I learned from him, third figure of the first set, that's the, the way that he played it. to play some of McGlashan's polkas and perhaps if the viewers like to watch the left hand they'll see the action for the three quaver beat that's uh, characteristic of polkas. <laughs> I'll show these tunes, eh? All right, Peter. <laughs> First set tune, God bless you and bugger me. First set. <laughs> 